everybody, Jeff Stone here with day 61 of the year 2015 at magicreviewed.com. All right, um, just an update on the contest. It's just crazy. You guys are great. I mean, uh, there's one little misconception out there. Some people think that I'm trying to hit a thousand. I'm not. We're past that. We're just kind of celebrating the fact that I did hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So um, just keep doing what you're doing. I'm getting all the emails and I'm responding to them. Um, and I haven't done responded to any today yet. So be patient, but I'm responding to them, adding them to the drawing. So whew, thank you so much for the response. So it's very exciting to know that I've got that many people out there watching my videos. So I really appreciate that. Um, today we're looking at, I don't have a physical product. It's an ebook by Joe Diamond. Um, I independently invented a nickname for him that I think he's had all his life. Um, or at least as long as he's been called Joe Diamond. You know, Joe and then the D from Diamond, Joe D, so we call him Jody. I've known Joe for about 10 years now. Uh, we met when we both flew up to Toronto to film uh, Underground Jam, which was the Jay Sankey project, where he had three guest artists. It was me, Joe Diamond, and Eric LeClaire. Um, and so all the three of us has, have stayed friends over the years and stayed in touch. Um, you know, every, you know, we don't get to uh, talk to each other as much as we should, I guess, but Joe and I still email quite a bit. And uh, we Skype once in a while, and he sent me a copy of this book, Journey of or Journal of Alchemy, um, a few maybe a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, when it was in the uh, it was all written, but it hadn't been edited yet, and the pictures hadn't been added in. <clears throat> anyway, the concept of the book, I was very impressed when I read it. The concept of the book is um, the subtitle is turning old gems into professional gold. Hence the the term alchemy, turning something into something else, and uh, the the concept is that it's about personalizing your magic, and, it, and it's not just a theory book. Uh, it's fifty one pages, and there's five. The ad copy says five effects. So I I would say there's six, um, but two of them are just a different presentation on the same effect. Um, so there um, the five slash six effects that each one are actual effects that Joe performs on a regular basis and has been for years. In fact, one of them he showed me at Underground Jam 10 years ago. So I know they're ones that are in his actual repertoire. And so anyway, um, the effects are ones where he's taken a classic effect in Magic or uh, combined a couple of classic effects or whatever, maybe slightly modified the handling, but what he's really bringing to the table is presentation, giving the effect meaning. Um, and so... That if you guys have read my book seven ninety three point eight, first of all, if you haven't, what's your problem? <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm not. I'm not kidding. Read it. Uh, secondly, though, if you have read it, you know that the concept of uh, personalizing magic and giving it meaning is very important to me. So the, Joe's book already strikes a chord with me. Plus, he's a friend of mine, and so you may think that my review is going to be biased, and it may be. I, I mean, I'm, to be honest, I'm a human being. And I you know who knows. But I really don't think it is. I really think that the material stands on its own. So the short answer is I gave it five stars. Stone status, capital G, capital E, capital M, exclamation point, which is my highest rating. Now, let me tell you why. Number one, for $10, it's 10 bucks. you get an instant download uh, off of Vanishing Ink. And I think that's the only place that you can buy it. So I just put a link to that in the, in the written description of the, <clears throat> um, of the review here on magicreview.com. So it's 10 bucks, you get these effects, and you get effects that have been tested. And again, it's, you know, do you like the effect? I don't know. Um, I personally like some of them. Some of them I probably wouldn't do. But it's what's important is the methods and the presentations. And on top of that, the concept of how did he make this personal? Even if you would never do the presentations, even if you don't like the presentations, um, you can you get a lesson in how to take an old effect um, or any effect and make it personal to you. Now, again, it's not the kind of thing where Joe's like, yeah, step one in making it personal, do this step two. No, it's learning by example. And so for example, he's got uh, doc Daly's last trick. He's modified nothing in the handling. Um, I, I think, well, I think he's using uh, bill Malone's handling of it, but he didn't, he, it wasn't about the handling. It was about the presentation and he gives a very, very smart, a clever and engaging. You're going to hear those three words a lot in this review. Uh, he gives a smart, clever, and engaging presentation 
that leaves the, the, us, the spectator with both a physical gift and a metaphorical gift, if you will. Um, but, okay, Doc Daly's last effect. Most people would agree that's a good trick. Not everybody, but most people would. So you already know, if, if, based on your opinion of that effect, if it's a good effect or not. The question is, does Joe Diamond add anything to it? And the answer is absolutely. He adds a lot to it. And he doesn't change the method. He changes the presentation and the meaning of the effect. Uh, there's an effect in there called point of view, which is just one of those cool... Um, it's a simple card trick, but it's got a couple of those sort of weird moments where it's it's almost the feeling like this thing, I've done this on the review before, where you do this and you apparently show both sides that the finger was missing. And for a split second, you really think, whoa, I, I saw both sides of his hand and there was no finger there. And then you realize, oh, he probably did, uh, probably did that or whatever. Anyway, it's sort of those kind of moments like that in this card trick where you're like, whoa, wait a minute, what the heck? And then just at the moment where you think, oh, he just was doing this when he turned his hand around, you realize, oh, no, there really wasn't a finger there. And, and you're left in the permanent situation of this altered reality. It's really cool. I know it's kind of hard to explain. But the, this, the concept is just, it's just smart, just super smart. Uh, then you get... Um, uh, this is one I'm actually putting into my repertoire. Um, that, that Again, that may not mean anything to you because we may have totally different tastes. But if you're familiar with um, Gemini Twins, it was published by Carl Fools in like 1979. And uh, that effect, it's... Um, in fact, I have a, an effect in 793.8 based on that effect. <clears throat> but the basic idea, um, Joe took that idea. I'm not going to go into what it is. And he combined it with uh, an effect of Jay Sankey's that uses torn up cards. And the two together, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the best of the Gemini Twins effect and you get the best of Sankey's effect all rolled, in rolled into one effect. And it's simple. It's almost self-working. It resets instantly. And it's, and it's just a little, you just have to carry around a little stack of half cards, um, maybe 10 cards or something like that, if that. I don't think you need that many. Um, and that just wrapped in a rubber band, they just go in your pocket or whatever. So, but the effect, it's just one of those kind of, it's, it's a super, super coincidence effect. Um, it's, um, it, it's, I don't know if you like the effect, will the cards match? I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with that. That's, that trick's great, but the problem is the procedure is just boring and not that exciting. But it's just that boring procedure where the, everybody has all these possible choices and yet you end with this impossible ending. That impossible feeling at the end of that effect is, is the kind of thing you get in this effect, um, except there's no boring procedure. It's very simple. Anyway, so that's what that is. Um, then there's two haunted key presentations. One is like a Houdini um, presentation, and one is uh, based on um, the uh, Scrooge you know, by Dickens. And um, I almost said Dickinson. I was thinking Bruce Dickinson. I got Maiden in the head. So maybe Iron Maiden will be the random iTunes song of the moment today. Anyway, so these are two presentations for the Haunted Key. And if you do the Haunted Key, most people just do the Haunted Key by holding the key in their hand and, and it moves and, and the end, right? This goes beyond that. This puts a framework on the presentation. This gives reason. It gives meaning to what the key is, where it came from. Why is it haunted? And maybe you don't care about that stuff, and that's totally cool. But if you're looking for that kind of stuff, this is a great um, uh, concept and a technique. Or not a technique, but a great presentational idea that you can do. Either the Houdini one or the Scrooge one. So, all throughout the book, on top of all of this, you get little tips and tidbits and anecdotes about Joe's journal keeping. And this book is very much, I mean, it's called Journal of Alchemy. And what it is, it's his journal... Um, that in fact the ebook even looks like a journal it's kind of cool but it's his journal that he's kept over the years and by continually having a journaling process um, he comes across things and ideas and concepts that he captures and ultimately he's able to use alchemy to um, I think my quotes are out of frame alchemy to morph these ideas and or effects into something that's professional gold, as he calls it, which is something that he does in his personal, professional working repertoire. So that's the concept. So throughout the book, you're going to have little paragraphs and essays and, and, and stories and so forth of how he's done that. 
And then all the way down to the very end of the book, um, I'm not going to spoil the this ending, but there's just this one. And it's not that huge of a thing, but it was it was beautiful to me. There is just very literally the very last line of the book um, has this moment where it just makes you smile and gives you kind of a warm fuzzy. And it only means something if you've read the entire book. If you haven't read the entire book and you skip ahead and look at the last line, it, you won't feel it. You won't you won't get it. So make sure you read the whole book if you end up buying this thing. Anyway, uh, ad copy. There's not much to say there. They just basically outline what the effects are um, as far as... Um, uh, product quality, it's excellent. And that's one thing I, I got to really, um, you know, tip my hat to Joe about. Uh, a lot of times I've seen lots of eBooks. Uh, I get them. I mean, people, that's, people want me to review their stuff. That's an easy thing to send me as an eBook because they don't have to ship it to me. And a lot of times the eBook is just, you know, it's a word document and they just printed it out as an eBook and they didn't think about formatting, layout, fonts, styles, anything. And it's just a mess. This book is not like that at all. It's beautiful. It looks good. There's just the right amount of photographs necessary to show, um, you know, what you need to know to learn the effects. It's very well written. It's very clear. I mean, everything you need to know to do the effects is in there, and it's outlined very well. So, the, I mean, the whole thing is just a great project. It's only 10 bucks, And, you know, I mentioned this in the written review. There's a lot of reasons why uh, a guy in my situation where, right now with this particular product would be biased. I, I get it. I, and I get why people might think that I am. And like I said, maybe I am. I really don't think I am. And I really, really, really try hard not to be. And I have given bad ratings to friends of mine. So I just gave a not so great rating to um, Jay Sankey uh, product a while, you know, not too long ago. And Jay's a very good friend of mine. And so I, I'm just letting you know, I really do try to be unbiased. But in this case, you know, if you're even on the fence thinking, oh, Jeff's probably just a little bit biased, it's 10 bucks, guys. It's And I don't get a penny of that. I'm not, I have no financial interest in this at all, or no financial stake, I should say. Um, so for 10 bucks over at Vanishing Inc., test me out, see if I'm unbiased or not. Uh, and you won't regret it. It's, a, I mean, unless you, you know, you don't do this kind of magic, it's all kind of close up kind of magic and a little bit of mentalism like with the Honda key and stuff but it's mostly magic stuff so if you like that kind of stuff and you liked anything i said in this review i guarantee it's 10 bucks well spent so that's it final status five stars stone status of capital g capital e capital m i forgot how to spell exclamation point so now it's time to subscribe to my channel like this video and listen to the random itunes song of the moment which is Blasting Fast and Loud from Twisted Sister from the Stay Hungry album. I love these guys. How'd I do? Did I hold my coffin all right? <clears throat> it's pretty bad. This one, I was really suppressing it. So, um, And it finally snowed today. We literally have not had any snow this entire winter. Uh, I got to take that back. We had a little, little light, light, light dusting on Christmas Day, but that is it. It's March now, and usually by now, man, we've had some cold temperature and lots of snow, and it's barely started snowing today, so it's finally cold again today. Anyway, you don't care about Utah weather. What you care about is tomorrow, day 62, so tune in for that, and it's going to be The Box by um, Mark Southworth. I don't know what this is. We'll find out tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. <laughs> Thank you.